okay so we'll see uh, what are the different parameter types and how we can use them for while creating report format okay so uh, while creating report format on the left panel you will see that uh, there are uh, these different types of uh, parameters which are available okay uh, so test with normal range you will use when you want to create a parameter when the normal ranges do not change with uh, age okay so throughout the age um, the parameter range reference range remains the same so I'll enter okay um unit i can keep as mg per dl method is okay. and uh, i get 10 to 15 i can keep the male range and female range same or i can change it if i want okay so i can keep it same as what and to save i just click on save so this parameter is created okay so this is test with normal range test with uh, a specific range so this uh, is used when the um, reference range changes by age the, these ranges like hemoglobin count um, changes with uh, age um, for children it is different and for adult it is different then you can use um, test with age specific range so I will just name parameter 2 unit is again mg per dl the method i leave blank okay now first i will uh, need to enter uh, the age uh, for which I want to enter the range for okay so suppose I want to add it for a uh, neonatal age or a neonatal range uh, which is for a newborn baby so 0 uh, okay I'll just select in days uh, 0 days and 2 suppose 30 days okay and the range is suppose 2 to 5 okay once I enter the range uh, I can change for female if I want and I will click on add range so that range is added 0 to 30 days which is 1 month okay. next is in months so I will add, add the range in 1 month so I will add for 1 month to suppose 5 months okay. and again the range is 3 to 5 suppose ok I will add this and add range ok so if you see in drop down this range is also added next is from 5 months to 12 months ok then enter to 3 to 7 add range now you see all of these 3 ranges have been added and I will finally go to years and I will say 1 year to 12 year into 5 ok now I will see all of this is added ok now I will say 12 to suppose 80 80 years ok so, ok now this is added and I add range so all of these ranges are been added from 0 much to 80 years now I will click on save value ok but doesn't allow to save it says you must at least have one age range with default range so what does default range mean is if the uh, age is out of the range so suppose someone is from 81 years so it will pick the default range so mark, to mark a range as default range you need to select that range and default range and add range so one of the ranges will be picked as default okay now um, if you see in this drop down I will I have added 0 to 1 1 to 5 5 months to 12 months so each of the ranges are start starting from where the previous one left off uh, this is necessary so that there is no gaps in the ranges so when you create ranges you should create in this fashion and uh, other thing is um, if suppose um, uh, the patient is of exactly one month or five months where it is exactly on the border line then uh, it will always pick the smaller range so if it is exactly 5 months so it will be 1 to 5 if it is 1 month it will be 0 to 1 month range ok so this is how we can add age specific range and I will save value ok
next is descriptive range so if i click on this um it will open descriptive range so descriptive range is used for when um the normal ranges is not um does not change by age but this change by uh, like condition like uh, diabetic patient uh, or non diabetic patient the age is different uh, so then you will define it as a descriptive range so for example i'll just do parameter p okay you need to again mg per dl okay and now here in the descriptive range i can mention conditions so i can define um, uh, in this way descriptive ranges this descriptive range will be shown um, in the report okay and um, here i can enter the ranges where the auto highlight should work so my uh, auto highlight should work for normal range so if it is uh, beyond this it will auto highlight on the report okay and i will save next is um, descriptive test no range so this is useful for when you are uh, wanted to create interpretations um, or uh, some descriptive text which has no reference range but it's like a descriptive text which is shown on the report so interpretation is a good example interpretation okay and i can enter default text so i can enter whatever default interpretation i want to enter in this box and i'll save that so it will show in the interpretation okay um next is um test with file input so if you want a uploadable uh, parameter so if you want to show an image on the report uh, and you want an option to uh, for the uh, lab staff to upload an image on the report then you will use this parameter um and it will have a upload option in the while filling the report next is um, test with graph so if you want to show a graph on the report then you need to use this uh, graph type parameter test with list of values so this is useful when you want to have a drop down kind of selection on the on the report so for example if i want parameter t and i'll enter the drop down values over here so suppose i enter red blue green after add uh, click on add value if you see you will see all those these values in the drop down and all of this will be available drop down while filling report besides there are a uh, styling report uh, which you can be used to um, style the uh, report format so you can have a heading so you can just have heading um, and i can add that heading in the report okay uh, if i don't want to i can just remove this and uh, you can just say heading in center okay so besides this there are other parameters which can be used like space or page break which can be used to format the report if i want to change the position of parameters i can do that by clicking on this and changing okay so this goes to the top so this is how i can add different parameters in the report format